Hello and welcome to the School of Life. My name is Chioma Agunobi, your status quo disruptor. I recently had a phone conversation with a young lady who I would say was on the verge of giving up hope. For her, like so many others out there as well, she has planned, prayed and worked so hard at her dreams. But each day just makes it look as if the dreams keep drifting farther and farther away. And so I told her, like I'm telling you today, to take a little time and consider the gestation period of animals. Now it differs from animal to animal, right? Um, for the dog, it's about two months. For the cow, say nine months. For a horse, 10, 10 to 12 months. I think like 12 months a year. Then for an elephant, it's two full years. Okay, um, for the rats, 21 to 23 days, less than a month. For chicken, you all know. And so I ask you today, how big is your dream? Did you notice something about the gestation period of and different animals? It almost seems as though the bigger, the longer. So how big is your dream? Is your dream supposed to have the gestation period of an elephant but you want it within the time frame of that of a rat or maybe a dog if that's the case then that's really unrealistic also I give you another scenario now a man walks into a restaurant it's a restaurant that has a buffet spread but he says I don't want anything off the spread off the table I want something special you know I, I really am longing to have a particular kind of meal and so he asks to see the chef and he places his order and the chef goes in to prepare his order. Now while he's waiting for his order, he, see, he notices ah, a lot of people are coming, eating off the table and going. They just come, they pick off the buffet spread and they leave. 10 people have come and gone and he's wondering, oh my goodness, why am I waiting for so long? I'm tired, I'm hungry. He beckons on the waiter and says, waiter, how come I'm waiting so long? I don't like this. And the waiter says, sir, your order is called an a la carte which means the chef has to start from the scratch which means your order is different from what everyone else is having which means your order is unique very unique to you and so it is not on the table and the chef has to work he probably might even need to work with other ingredients that he has not used the whole day so it is an a la carte it's something that will require a lot of time and it require you waiting but you see the thing with most of us is that after we wait for five ten minutes we get agitated we get irritated we just want to up and leave we just want to go away but most times when you're at the verge or at that point of just walking out that restaurant door you find the waiter coming with your meal and so there's something else restaurants usually do so while you're waiting for the main course you're waiting for the main meal they bring other things along. They probably come with a warm towel so that you can wipe your hands with, come with your drink, or even maybe your starter. It could be a soup, corn soup, pepper soup, or even your spring rolls. What this does is it helps you wait. It gives you hope. It makes you understand that, hey, you have not been forgotten. The, the chef is walking behind the scenes to bring your order. And so it's the same thing as well with God most times in our lives. While we're waiting for that big breakthrough, while you're waiting for that big dream to come to pass, most times God throws in that warm towel. So please be careful not to storm out just when your angel is coming with your order. So I say this to you, can you just hold on a little longer? Can you keep up faith? Can you understand that yours is a la carte? Yours is an elephant-sized dream, an elephant-sized vision. And so it would require a longer gestation period. And there's something else very important, consistency. Keep up on whatever it is you're doing. Keep working at it. Keep pushing, keep knocking, keep praying. Don't let the ball drop. Continue at it. And before you know it, the breakthrough. The waiter just comes with your order. And most times when your order does come, you find that all the customers in the restaurant begin to want, hmm, they say, hmm, nice, nice. 
And you might even find some beckoning on the waiter. You have that on the buffet spread. And guess what the answer would be? No. Because it's unique to you. It's peculiar to you. For me, there's a word that keeps me in this kind of moment. And I find that in Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 2. And it says, Write the vision, make it plain, that he may run that reads it. Though the vision be for an appointed time, it will not lie. It may tarry, but it will come to pass. That's an amazing word. And for us all, we must find a word that keeps us for every situation we face in life. This has been the School of Life, and I am your status quo disruptor, Chioma Agunobi. Now, please do not hesitate to get in touch with us. Send us a DM. Let's get that conversation rolling, okay? And also remember to like, comment, and share. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm waiting to hear from you. Thank you.